Hello everyone. We will continue the topic ALV. In the previous two videos, we learned about the features of ALV. We also learned how to create or what are the steps for the ALV. Now we will start with the practical part. We'll take a requirement and we will achieve that requirement with the help of ALV. I will go to SC11. I will go to VBAK table. This is the table for SAP SD module sales and distribution. It is a sales document header table. Similarly, I will open VBAP table. It is a sales document item table. What I will do, I will create a ALV or I will display a ALV which will display the data from VBAK and VBAP table. I will pass the input as sales document number and it will display the details of that sales document number in the form of ALV. We'll start with this. I will go to SC38 transaction code. I will give some name to the program. Suppose this is ALV program. I'll click on to create button. I will give some title to the program to display the sales order details. I will choose the type as executable program, save. I will save this program as a local object. I will activate my program. I will take a range of sales order number. So how to take a range of sales order number? I will create a select option. So firstly, I will declare a variable. Suppose LV underscore VP ELN type data element for sales document number. Now I will create a select option. The keyword is select options. I will give some name to the select option for this particular variable. This particular variable which I declared is of this type. This data element has a domain of character 10. It means our select option is automatically of character 10. I will check the syntax. I will activate the program. I will provide the selection text. Go to text elements selection text sales document number and I will activate my program. Now I will create the structures from VBAK and VBAP table. I will create the internal table and work areas then we will fetch the data from both the tables. So firstly, I will create a structure for VBAK types. Again of, suppose my first structure is LTY underscore VBAK. We discussed so many times, it's very easy to create the structure. You can simply, simply copy paste. Suppose from VBAK table, we will take these five columns. 
So I'll just copy paste and create a structure. First column type data element. Second column type data element. Third column type data element. Fourth column type data element. Fifth column type data element. I will end my particular structure. Means first structure of BBAK. I will declare the internal table and work areas. Lt underscore BBAK type table of LTY underscore BBAK. I will declare the structure. I'll declare the work area. LS underscore BBAK type LTY underscore BBAK. So we created the structure, internal table and work area for VBA. Similarly, we'll go for VBAP types. Begin of my second structure. Suppose from VBAP table, we will take these three columns, suppose. I'll take VBELN. VBELN type data element. I will take POSNAR type data element of POSNAR. I will take MATENA. Matena type data element of Matena. I will end the second structure. Now I will create the internal table and work areas. My internal table will be LT underscore BPAP. Structure is BPAP. Structure is VBAP, work area is LS underscore VBAP. So we created the structure, internal table and work areas for VBAK and VBAP. Now we will fetch the data from both the tables. I will write a query to fetch data from VBAK table first. Select. I want to fetch five columns from VBAK. So I will write VBELN, ERDAT, ERZET, ERNUM, VBTYPE. I am fetching these five columns. I am fetching from which table? VBAK table. I will store into internal table, LT underscore VBAK, where B B E L N in S underscore B B E L N. We discussed so many times. Whenever we have a select option, we always always have to use in in. So whatever the value you will give, based upon that value, will go to V B E L N column of V B A K table. It will fetch the data of these five columns and data will come into this internal table. So whatever the input you are passing, based upon that, the data of five columns will fetch from the database table VBAK and data will come into this internal table. Now, now we will fetch the data from item table. Our item table is VBAP. We know whenever we want to fetch that data from dependent tables or secondary tables, 
we always always have to check that our primary key table is returning the data so i will write if lt underscore vbak is not initial every if there is a end if if that data is coming from first table only in that case we will fetch that data from vbap table because if data is not coming from first table we will not fetch the data from second table so how i can check if first internal table is not initial not initial means not null not blank if you are getting that data from first table then only in that case we will fetch that data from second table i will write select vbeln postna matena from the second table i got to fetch the data of three columns three columns i will store into my second internal table into table my second internal table now how to fetch data from second table based upon first internal table so i will write for all entries in my first internal table and what is the where condition to fetch data from second table where vbeln is equal to first internal table vbeln now how this query will work you will select the data of these three columns from vbap table you will store into this internal table but on what basis for all entries of first internal table whatever that data is in the first internal table and in that first internal table the vb eln column values will act as a input to fetch data from second table suppose in the first internal table vb eln is coming 1 2 3 1 2 3 vb eln is there so those three will act as a input to fetch data from vbap table i'll check the syntax and activate the program so what we did in this video so far we created the various structures internal table and work areas we took a input in the program and based upon that input we fetched data from first table and based upon the data of the first internal table we fetched data from second table rest part we will continue in the next video thank you